I'm Dr. William Carpenter, a fellow in the American Institute of Architects and National Architecture Ed Educator of the Year. So quite exciting to be a distinguished professor recipient uh, for KSU. So I'm happy here to talk about the tools that architects use. And so here, if we were in the mid 1940s, these would be the tools you can see, like a fountain pen. These are ruling pens and they dip into an inkwell and you would draw on linen. And so then you would run your prints through what called white prints uh, and, and through a, an ammonia based machine. And the same with these ruling pens would be part of your arsenal of tools that you would use together, of course, with your slide rule idea. This is how your professor would teach you how to make your measurements and dimension your drawings. Here, a wooden triangle would complement that effort. And here, a compass would, is what you would use to draw with lead. And so here's your manual to go with the uh, slide rule and the ruling pens. This would be a lead pointer. So we need to get a lead holder to go with it. And a lead pointer is what you would draw on mylar with, okay? So you would usually use lead or silver point and draw on lead or mylar. And then this would be 40s, 50s. And now we're going into the late 50s and up to the 80s. The changes in technology, first, an architect scale. Second, we began drawing on mylar. And so that was a big deal because we layered the mylar and you could see through it. So that's why you see these tools all here, a smaller slide rule making its way to an architect scale. And then you see the introduction of templates. Templates would be used by the draftsperson or designer to designate architectural plans and elements. And here you would draw your leader, leader lines for working drawings with a French curve. That's what this is right here. Make those beautiful architectural drawings. So then we would have digital technology. Digital technology would have emerged in the late 1970s here on campus. Of course, now it's the primary way that we communicate. But here, I hope you've enjoyed this history of architects tools. Thank you so much for inviting me and congratulations on the archives.